So we're here at Willow Creek at Park Meadows Drive in the city of Lone Tree. Um, this is a maintenance request for the year of 2020 by the city uh, asking for sediment removal of the CMPs at the bridge. Um, and after the 2013 flood, a lot of material from upstream was um, brought downstream and the culverts were quite filled. We were removing the material from this main culvert with the low flow channel behind me and uh, we had the water on the opposite side of the bridge and noticed rust in the water. Uh, we immediately regrouped with um, the team and determined that we had seepage coming under the structure and infiltrating the bottom of the CMP uh, which was rusted and putting rusty water into the waterways. After some engineering, uh, we've decided to drive sheet pile to try to cut off the water on the upstream and downstream side and pave the invert of the large CMP to try to get that rust sealed off from entering the waterway. We have also have another tributary coming in, Heritage Hills Tributary, which now is combined with Willow Creek and is trying to undermine the structure by getting behind the wing wall. So a part of our project is get the water to the surface and in the right CMP. This is a, the, the large CMP that takes the main low flow. And as you see, we're removing the sediment and you'll see water. There's no water coming into this culvert, but at the bottom you can see water is seeping in and that is rusty water and the CMP has no bottom and it is rusted out. A part of our project will be clean is completely out get the water completely stopped, and then power wash the CMP and pack rebar to it and invert pave it, and then have that paving and cup it encompassing our sheet pile that's on each side of the uh, CMPs to cut the water off permanently. And then at the final part of our project, we'll bring the creek back into this channel where it always was designed to go. We're back here at our Willow Creek maintenance project. Uh, we've driven our sheep pal across the CMP on the upstream side about two weeks ago. Uh, we're back on site because we've accomplished something that usually doesn't happen that fast and we've turned off the water inside the CMP that was uh, causing us such an issue with deteriorating the pipe. Uh, we'll see that the water is completely uh, shut down and we believe with the sheep pile being driven, uh, it's diverted the underwater path of the, of the creek uh, from undermining the structure itself. So right in this area, water was actually coming up from the bottom and flowing through the pipe. It was rusty water, it's deteriorated the bottom of the pipe, and with the sheet pile being driven, it's completely eliminated that path of water. And uh, we're very happy that this happened so quickly. It usually takes a lot longer. Um, we will have more updates on the project, but this is a really good positive step that we've eliminated a path of the water undermining our structure. Uh, we're back at the completed project at Willow Creek at Park Meadows Drive. The invert paving of the main channel of Willow Creek under Park Meadows Drive is complete, as you can see. There's 11 inches of concrete that we've placed. Uh, there's welded wire mesh underneath welded to the existing culvert and it's um, at the exact same grade it was. The thickness of the concrete is the same throughout the culvert, so we maintain the same slope, but we have it sealed up, and uh, rusting and the pollution that was coming in is now sealed at the bottom with concrete over it. Any seepage issues we've had have been uh, corrected, and at this upstream section, you can see that the apron here is all concrete, so as it transitions into the box, there's no way for the water to get underneath the bridge and cause the issues we were seeing in the past. The purpose of the boulder edging that we have here is to, to define the creek so that it, it, it works its way towards and into the culvert and keeps the sediment load moving through this section of creek. The boulders are, what you see here is only two thirds of the boulder, a third of it's buried, and then there's a five foot sheet pile, PZ22 sheet pile, that's driven below that and then all grouted in mass. So it's, it makes a very good edge 
to contain the flows. But in a storm event, the water will come up, go over the boulders, and then enter the three other culverts, which are to take the storm flows. As a maintenance project for the district, this is uh, the type of projects we really enjoy doing. It's increased the life of the bridge. Uh, water quality has improved in Willow Creek dramatically from keeping all the pollutants uh, from getting into the water. Uh, it's been really a successful project for us.